me run this this little guy. All right, so we get the data, right? So you can see the timestamp. So we can see it's separated from asset to asset, USDT, UNI, and uh, something. All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get um, your digital asset data from, or cryptocurrency data from Alpaca. So uh, Alpaca is one of the sites we discussed earlier and we can get digital asset data through uh, their API. You can visit their website uh, to see what they offer, right? So they have, uh, they produce, provide an API for stocks and crypto trading. So this is really, it's popular for back testing, right? Yeah, and then, but if you, if you need to download, I don't think you need an API for just getting some data, but if you want to do extensive stuff like uh, back testing and stuff like that, you probably need to to sign in to get an account, right? That's a but we all finance you. You don't need an account, so we're going to so you can go through their site and see like these are the services that they they offer, right? So and then we're going to look at how we can get their digital asset data. So. Uh, so they provide an API that we can use to get their data. And you remember, for every site, when you are getting their, their digital asset data, there's a different way that they, they provide for you to define your asset pair. So in, in, in Alpaca, this is how we're going to define an asset pair, right? So we want to get, if you want an asset pair like uh, 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 BTC, BCH pair, this is how you're defining it, right? So if you want... Uh, USDT Ave pair, this is how you're going to define it, right? So there, there are different ways how I'm going to share this notebook and you can play around with it. And so um, so the API for downloading, um, for, for getting uh, the, 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 the pairs is, is available here. You can look up alpaca.py. This is their documentation. You can take a look at it and how it can be used. And you can go to their GitHub yeah, GitHub is right here. They have, uh, so like I said, if you want to see if a uh, uh, package is good, you can see how frequently it's updated. You can see four days ago, it was updated like four days ago. And you can see, uh, they, they've clearly, let's see if they, yeah, they have an example of how you can get like historical data. Like, yeah, this is for crypto. They have defined how you can get that, right? So you can see. And so we're going to use uh, this alpaca to show you how, so they've defined everything you need, right? In order to get the data. So yeah, you can go through that. I'll put the link in the description. And uh, let's let's see how we can do that, right? So uh, for some foremost, we need to import our libraries. Uh, we are working in the same environment. And if you are, there's no need to import these two libraries. But uh, probably, so let's just try to run this and see what happens. You can see, okay, so it says error, right? It says, it gives us an error. Uh, let's see what error it says. So no module named Alpaca. So why is this giving us? Because we, in this, we're using uh, Yahoo, uh, no, we're using Google Collab, right? So we haven't installed this package, Alpaca, in this Yahoo Finance notebook that we are working in. So in order for us to call this, uh, to, to, to import this library, to use this library, we need to import, to import, to install it in this environment, right? So I'll just head over here and see like, uh, they're gonna tell me how to install. So this is how you install our Parker, right? So you're going to pip install our Parker.py. I'm just gonna copy that and go over to my notebook and just be like, uh, all right, I'm just going to, all right, and see, let's run it and see. I'm going to explain what that means. All right, so you can see it's downloading the Apache, uh API. So it's completed six seconds and then it has imported the, so I can split this. Let me see. Can I split this? This means what? Copy. I want to split. Cut cell. Can I? What did I do? Ooh. 
Let me undo. Oops. Okay. Let me bring back the the. I don't know what I was trying to do. All right. Here, what we had was. All right. So we've already installed our Apaka. Uh, let's see. Let's run it again. Okay, it's in. But remember, I'm sharing this notebook, so you can you can run the same command. Uh, Keep install alpaca. Fine. I think this is how it's written. Yes. Okay. So um, let me just explain what this means. Pip is the way you install packages in Python. So we use pip, or sometimes we use conda. So if you don't have a package in the environment you're working in, you can just pip install it. So when you pip install it, then you can use the package, right? So I'm just going to comment this so that, uh, so when you're, because I've already imported it, when you're using this notebook, you can uncomment this and run it so that you install the package. And so I already have it installed. So because I'm going to get historical data, so I'm going to use our Parker and I'm going to the data dot data dot historical. So every API has a way that the, 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 their code is structured. So here we go into our Parker, we go to the data and we go to historical, right? And then we go, we are going to get crypto historical data. So we say we import crypto historical data client. We want to get data from there. And then what we are going to do is we're going to also import a request, right? Because we want to get uh, the, the, the bars data, open, high, low, close. So crypto bars request, that's what we want to get. And we want to also get a time frame, right? And we're, we're going to import date time. Date time is a date time format in Python. So here we define our client, which is crypto historical data client, right? This is where we defined it. We're going to define it here, right? So I can run the cell, takes zero second to run. And then we want to call, we want to make a request to the to the alpaca api right so what we do here why is this just highlighted like this let's see oh this is missing yeah it's missing some stuff i think it's missing the symbols data uh yeah we need to define our indicators so let's first of all define our indicators. I have it somewhere. So yeah, we define our indicators. We have them here. So this is how we define our asset pairs. So if you want BTC, in the, we want BTC pairs, USDT pairs, or USD pairs. So these are, these are some BTC pairs you can be, get, right? ETH, BTC, LINK, BTC, LTC, uh, you know, Matic, Solana, uh, and Uniswap, right? And then we have USDT. In the, so you, in Alpaca, you can get these pairs, right? So uh, we can run this. And then we define our request. So what are our requests? We have to define our request parameters. What do we want to get, right? We want to get crypto bars data, which means we want to get open, high, low uh, volume and, and, and those sort of data. So we have to give the symbol, right? The symbols that we want to get right so we want to get data for usdt indicators so we want to get all the data for so we have usdt indicators that we've defined here we want to get data for all these pairs right ave usdt algora and usdt bch usdt btc so we want to get for all the pairs right so what we're going to do we define all the pairs and then the next we define our time frame the time frame we're going to get it on a daily or one daily data, right? If one minute, we're going to write minute here, or monthly, we want to write month here. So, and then the start date, right? We're going to get it on a start date, something like this. And then end date, we're going to give the end date, right? 
So uh, we define 2021 because in Alpaca, you can't get a lot like historical data. If I put like 2010, maybe we're gonna get an error. Let's just try that out, uh, yeah. And then uh, Baz client, so we're going to, so when we finish this, right, we want to get the Baz data, right? So this Baz data, we know that we defined Baz our bars data is going to be client, which we defined up here. This is our client, right? We already called a client, right? So we want to use this client to call the Alpaca API. So we want to get crypto bars, client.crypto bars, and then we are going to give them request parameters, right? So we're going to give the request parameters that we need to get those data. So these request parameters are these parameters right here right so for this api this is how we can use it and so when we run this we uh, we expect to get the crypto data for for what for for this asset that we defined here and it should be daily and it should be in this date range so when we run this let's see what we get all right so we get the data right so you can see the timestamp so we can see it's separated from asset to asset usdt uni and uh, sometimes when you get data like this, you need to verify. So you can see here, the data starts from 2021, right? But we define 2010. So it ignores that. It only has data for Aave USDT from 2021, right? So we can see we get our data. So same like before, if you want to, if you want to, uh, this not to be hierarchical, so we can, so they also give extra like trade count and, and, and uh, average uh, volume, right? So we can we can reset index, right? Reset index, right? Yeah. So it flattens, and then we have all that data right there, right? For all the assets, and we can get it for different assets, right? So we can just get it. Let's just say we want to get. You, you, uh, BTC pairs. We're just going to change the indicator right there. Let's just change here, right? And then you can, when I share this notebook, you can experiment with audit sources, right? So you can see right here. So we get the data for BTC pairs. You can see right here, right? And so, um, so when we get data like this, we want to save it, right? We want to save the data. So like we did before, just, uh, we're going to name this Alpaca data, Alpaca, Alpaca digital asset data. And then because we want to save it to CSV, remember what we did before, dot to CSV. So if you guys, if there's anybody, if you're not familiar with Python, I, I, I do offer like Python courses for beginners. So if you, if you want to sign up, you can, you can link up. Uh, because I know like maybe some people will be excited uh, like uh, scared of about Python and stuff like that but Python is very necessary it's a very necessary language to get you through this course with ease but if you can do that uh, by yourself it's fine right uh, so we want to get this data we want to name it we can name it uh, BTC Slash BCT pass dot CSV and remember we have to say index equals to false and so we run this that data is going to be saved so we can see BTC pairs right here right so the data is saved 
So all this data we got, we've saved it, right? So easy. So we've gotten the data from Alpaca Finance. So we, we've seen how we can get data from Alpaca Finance, right? If you want to get like uh, other uh, uh, data sets like crypto, like uh, stocks or others, you can check out their library right here. I'll leave the link in the description. You can check it out. Yeah. And then I'll also share this notebook for you to play around with it and see how you can get their data. And so, yeah. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.